Welcome back everybody. A little bit late today. I completely messed up the starting times of the tournaments. I thought it would start an hour later. But you know, here we are. Late rec the 22 big bounty, uh, like 13 minutes late. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I don't like our chances of being good here. Beat it as it may. What are the other gentlemen lead out there? That could be interesting to know. Holy crap, that was a... That was a light lead, my friend. Sheesh. Alright, let me take an odd on that. All right. <laughs> Lily's hanging out in the bed, having a whale of a time, but looks of it. Right, so let's do this properly. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Nut Rays, and we shall be playing more PLO and more PLO tournaments today. Um, yeah, let me just finish setting everything up then. Yeah, duh. I thought the tournaments would start an hour later. I was really rushing to get set up and get the stream started. I do believe I wrecked them all now, though. Yeah, this is the penultimate day. We have a whole bunch of... Well, we have four tournaments coming up tomorrow, including two 55 KOs. Today we have the 22 KO. We have... The summer series, obviously, and we have a $27 KO on stars in an hour. And besides that, well, we're going to jump right into the PLO 10 pool on run at once. Apparently with Lily at my side today. Let's see if I can get the Lily come up. Might not be useful. I think she's too she's in a playful mood and will just be zooming around or ow, trying to climb up my naked legs. That's a problem. It's one thing when I wear trousers. 
Well, I am wearing I'm wearing uh, shorts, lest you think I'm sitting here in my underwear. But yeah, that's a different scenario, Lily. In case you're confused, Lily is obviously the kitten. And we have a pair in the gutter, two and a flush draw, so we're not going anywhere. Currently, we are fourth in the leaderboard. I reckon we're gonna have our work cut out for us if we want to take third or you know even uh, go even higher i mean if we can catch up to third i'll just show you the leaderboard right now so you have a better a better idea yeah so we're in fourth and you know i mean the top is pretty close together so there is that Take it down with the flush on a post. German raises over our queens. It's kind of unfortunate, especially now. But we can't call it here. It's a bit too wide. Six. I wonder what the other guy raised. Was it naked aces or no? Queen ten seven seven. No, queen ten seven seven double suited. I should add. Okay. And this guy cold wait. What now? The other guy here cold called a three, but holy shit. The cold called a jack nine and six, huh? This could be a fun table. This is a fun run out, even though no money went in so far. So don't expect we're gonna get many calls, if any at all. Although, you know, to bring a flush, it did bring a straight. I tell a lie, there's some calling going on. Got our nut flush draw is decent for starters. Down to one potential caller. Here we take it down, here we take it down in both cases unopposed or uncalled. That one down, that's nice. We need a different camera for you, Lily. This one has too narrow of a field of view. I mean, not, not that that is the important part of the stream. But I have been told that the occasional kitty is good for views on the internet. Hmm? 
calling here, see bedding here really small. Okay. And we're gonna call as well on the button. Here we make a flush. Um, with no pair from the board, I'm gonna check and we catch a semi-interesting flop in the big bounty as well. Honestly, for part, I'm gonna let it be. Checks and we're good. Leads it for pot as well. How does, I don't know what's happening. That's been going on for like a week now on run at once. A lot of people are leading. Or might be the, the same player or the same, you know, few players who keep doing that. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Flash draw. It's a good turn. That's a beautiful run out. Beautiful, this is a decent enough flop. Down here we take one down with aces. So we have a pair. I mean, obviously there's straights out there, but who cares if we make the nuts? <laughs> I'm sorry for the blasphemy, boss. <laughs> Good to see you back. <laughs> You're totally right. I, I guess I was trying to appeal to the cat to the dog loving crowd. To see you back, a boss. Hey, even though it was short notice, um, we I only had to late rack one of the tournaments. I did not get to shave, so you have to take me as I am today. Yeah, I agree. It was a cheap, a cheap shot trying to pander to the dog-loving crowd. You're obviously completely 100% correct. Oh, no, she actually is hanging out and sleeping here a little bit. I wish I could move the camera so you could see her sleepy face, but... Pretty much the river I was thinking of. Heads of Master, hang on, I'll get back to you in a second.
Also, welcome back. So we're up against a small blind here. It's not gonna like to support way less often than we do. Comes up for the quick check raise, which means whatever. No clue really. Um Actually there is an amazing right now the right right now they have the most amazing sign-up bonus they ever had. In that they If you double the deposit bonus, you get four weeks of Rio training. Not sure if you get increased break back on top. That part you would need to, or I need, we would need to, let's go with that. We would need to look up on the web page. On Rio, uh, sorry, on Party. So here's the thing, thing with Party. I did sign up via um, an affiliate years and years ago where I get, I think, 10 or 20% extra rake back, which makes, uh, makes it definitely okay. But it still loses out compared to random ones um, on uh, on party. That's what I was talking about. I think I said Rio, I meant party, what the affiliate thing and everything. On a party, uh, you mainly go for the point system, right? Which for casual players, non super hardcore grinders, uh, usually comes around, uh, comes in at. 20 to 30% rake back and on run at once you get 30% rake back in form of the splash pots alone um, and even if you don't grind heavily I believe uh, with the lowest legends tier like what is the lowest legends tier that one I need to look up myself that is a good question so let me check that Words. Yeah, so even if you only make clubs, like, no, even if you, even if you only play, like, you don't make any, you don't go far in the uh, legend system at all. Uh, here, I should be fallen, by the way. Then you get 10% on top, so that's 40% rank back right there. And, you know, that clubs is easily done, and if you make it up to uh, diamonds, you are gonna look, be looking at 42.5% in total, so instead of 10% extra, you get 12 and a half. Hearts, also easily made. Well, easy-ish. If, if you play Pilo 20, making hearts isn't a problem. If you play a couple of hours every evening. And then you have 45% in total. 15 from the Legends and 30 from Splash the Pot. And that's, you know, also they run promotions every week. Like, there hasn't been a single week where they haven't had a uh, promotion on top of that. So easily, you, you easy, very easily cl can clear 50% right back on run once if you take all of that into account so yeah that beats the you know somewhat the easily attainable 20 25 percent on party quite handily glory man welcome back i am indeed i am a little bit uh surprised that there's people like i've played a fair bit but i wasn't hard super hardcore grinding i just played a lot and I am in fourth place right now. I'll, I'll just show you the leaderboard ranking so, so you have an idea of how this is looking right now. I believe the top, like these, like third and second, they're basically tied, right? And for that matter, fifth and fourth are basically tied, but fifth hasn't been playing all day, I believe. And these guys are not playing right now either, I think. So who knows how far I can take it? There might be um, a problem, uh, like a problem. It's gonna be a good problem to have, although I can't talk about it in t uh, yet. But there, there might be uh, my schedule might be a little bit different than I thought, because on Thursday it is very likely that I won't be able to play for the Pilo 10 leaderboard. Export star and <laughs> welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking out it out and for the follow. Um, yeah, there's. Um, it looks increasingly likely as. Uh, hang on. Right. Um, 
It looks increasingly likely that there's going to be a special thing happening on Thursday, and keep your eyes peeled for Twitter. I probably you won't need to uh, be following my Twitter. Twitter, I think if you follow some uh, Rio involved Twitters, uh, then you will probably be in the loop once the information goes public, but I can't talk about it just yet. But yeah, anyway, so I'll be most likely spending a few hours not playing Pilo 10 on Thursday. And that's all I can say right now. Which is gonna make the leaderboard grind a little bit more difficult, but yeah, who cares? I, I, obviously I care, but the thing I'm doing, gonna be doing instead on Thursday, gonna be much more interesting. The leaderboard rewards seem very high. Yeah, they are. Uh, um, and people are grinding hard for them. Just gonna limp here. We're never gonna fold this guy out. Is my perception of him. We would basically need to hold quad deuces, and even then, it's a 50 50 um, in my mind. I would reckon, uh, a boss, that the leaderboard. Well, the leaderboard is the first try, right? They never had a leaderboard before. I would not be shocked if they move it to a daily thing at some point. I think that's. Um, better for everyone, especially for more casual players, where you can just set aside one day in the week and, you know, today I'm gonna grind for the leaderboard for today, instead of having a 9 to 5 job and having to grind, you know, 7 days a week, which is impossible if you have a full-time job. But that's, you know, I don't have any inside information on that, it's just me talking out of my behind. How does the work there in general? Well, the splash to pot is obvious. You get that every time a splash happens. You know, case in point. And the legends, um, it's basically how, well, there, there's a bonus if you keep a certain level, like over a four week stretch, um, then you you get a little bit on, on a rakeback on top, like another few percent. It's not, ma it's not massive, unless you go for the really high legend tiers, but Um, basically, um, you know, even if you just play a few hands, you will still get the 10% extra from the lowest legends tier. So, uh, I personally, I just take it at, as whatever comes off it, I'll be happy with. Because it always is additional rig back. Sleepy dude comes over the top. Don't block a king, ace king, uh, ace queen, three dudes. I mean, not blocking the king is not the important part here. It's the whole composition of the hand, which makes me want to fold it. It's a master as of today is runner once a pilo 10 down, always games running. Uh, well, they a uh, pilo 100. Well, they don't have pilo 100. They have pilo 50. And, sorry, there it goes up to pilo 200, which is not running right now. But yeah, the answer to this is a resounding yes. I was grinding until 5 a.m. German time. And, you know, be around midnight my time, uh, games died down a little bit. And then, surprise, shockingly, at like 2 o'clock in the morning or something, the numbers rose and they kept steady until 5 a.m. until I went to bed. So games are now running on your time zone, in your time zone as well. And I, I actually checked the time in Canada when I noticed the numbers going up and it was like 9 o'clock p.m. in Canada. And the numbers just suddenly, I'd never seen it before at this time of, of night or morning, if you want. So I'd say, you know, it's early, it's early days. The leaderboard has been going on since uh, midnight Sunday to Monday, but it seems to have a lasting effect on traffic so far, you know, for a given value of lasting for talking three days. But yeah, I think signs point to yes, head semester. Not raisin, uh, not raisin, not raisin. It's me, it's me, glory man. Holy shit. Second in NL20. Holy moly, how much is that worth? Let me see. Oh, it's combined NL10 and NL20. That, that, that's interesting. So that's two, worth 250 to 25 binds for if you can hold it over the week. That is not shabby at all. Congratulations, uh, glory man. Fingers crossed that you, you'll be able to hold that spot. Please don't keep a big bet on the... That's the best of your... Actually, I trust the site implicitly and completely. 
but I do make a habit of only having around 10, uh, sorry, around 20 binds on, on the side at any given time. Because for me in uh, Europe, you know, I use online banking to fund my uh, to transfer and withdraw, which is done instantaneously and without any fees. My accounts are all in Euro, so I don't pay any currency con conversion fees. For me, there's really no, no reason at all to keep uh, any more money than I need on a side. Uh, since I can just, you know, move money within a minute or two. So, yeah. There's going to be bounty in play. We're going to be calling on the button unless there's a 3-bet happening. I th I think they will change their leaderboard payouts, Gloryman. Make them flatter and... All right. That is an interesting card. It's pretty much too... Except for the king, the only card that gets me really excited here. Don't you dare, racer. How about a nice river? We do some nice rivers every once in a while. It is not the worst. It could potentially mean we win, but I would, wouldn't, you know, bet any money on it. Yeah. If he bets, I don't like where this is going. Let's see your mind. I need that to sit on and to talk out of every once in a while. always has me pause and try not to mess it up when saying it out loud. I don't think I've seen a 17 months before, man. Thank you very much. That is a utterly astonishing number. Holy smokes. Thank you, man. Very kind of you. 17 months, huh? Holy crap. Every time you subscribe, I get reminded of how long I've been streaming for. I thought it was be shorter. So that's Back of the napkin math, that's almost one and a half years of streaming now. Um, heads up, master. I, I yeah. You, you, I don't think you're wrong in saying, you know, that the games uh, can be uh, wreckish sometimes, but I I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, when not, uh, like a, almost a year ago, when I was playing Pilo 50, they were pretty wreckish, pretty nitty. From what I keep hearing, that changed. And, you know, now there's this whole uh, real staking thing from Thalo, which... Uh, and also the leaderboard and the awesome deposit bonus right now, which is all of that is responsible for a large influx in play of players. And Pilo 10, P uh, I know firsthand the last week games have been somewhere between uh, good and amazing, depending on the time of day. I keep hearing excellent things about Pilo 20 and also good things about Pilo 50. For that matter, Pilo 200 as well. I keep hearing excellent hands about having double paired aces as a starting hand as well. I believe it's a good thing. So yeah, I'd give it a shot. Okay. Oh yeah, we're four ways. Okay, I was pondering betting when I was under the impression we were three ways. That really answers that question. You know what? I think we're gonna gamble it up here. No joy. So we would have had a humongous stack 
I mean, maybe I should have thought longer about it because there's probably going to be at least one more flush draw out there uh, taking away some of our outs. Mm. Yeah, I'm starting to feel not so great about that one. Counter is a lot. Yeah, I mean, wait, yeah. yeah, the exchange rate uh, sucks, but you know. It's not like the money is suddenly a small amount once you exchange it. Yeah, I take it back. That's all in there in the previous hand. Hey, would you look at that? We're not not out yet. I would rebuy here as well. Can I? Do I need to fund my PokerStars account? Yeah, I can. All right. Yeah. Not proud of that spot in hindsight. On the other hand, you know, we had the nut flush draw with the overpair. It's not, it's not like it's horrible, even if there's not a flush draw out there. We certainly got a good price. Like, what was our percentage getting it in there on the flop? Thirty percent to win three by um, yeah three times the starting stacks stacks so slightly uh, minus EV play not not a complete punt I'd, I guess all right all right live and learn I guess. live and learn. I'll beat myself up uh, over it later. Two Canadians, 130 euro. Is that the exchange rate these days? Been ages since I looked. Two Canadian. Maybe get aces. re-entered I think due to the punt like I'll give a small free roll to oh shit that's a bad order to everybody who bought action for the second bullet how about that I'll figure out the numbers later but I'll do something Yeah, you're right, 131 uh, euros, 200 Canadian dollars. to go with it yeah yeah i think that's a uh, good advice you know unless you're getting insane odds if like like one more color there would have made it perfectly all right well would have made it decent probably perfectly all right too so they were just getting an insane price not never yeah throw even not with no equity uh three or four ways is hard yeah it is i agree 100 percent which is kind of fascinating. I'm also gonna bet it. 
Let's remember board. This guy can't, you know, raise willy nilly, even though he's the most aggro player involved in the hand. We don't know this guy yet, but another eight seems to be a perfect card to check behind on. <laughs> okay. Sure. So I feel, on the other hand, a bit of 22 big bounty. Uh, I'm content with how we played the hands we've been given so far. A double up at some point. This would definitely what we need. can't hear it due to the microphone filters, but every time I pet her, she's meowing every couple of, of, of seconds. Like the cutest little noises. Hmm. <laughs> it is heartbreakingly cute. down here oh blob stuff well a flush draw okay turn a flush um what up lily not hanging out fair enough As soon as I clicked the button, I felt there are better spots to be calling here, since I'm not blocking a single pair, a single full house. Wow, only three tries to click the right button. Balls and straight. Uh, no, ball and straight. Welcome back to the channel, mate. Unless I'm mixing up your name, I might actually might be. Saying in the no brainer, moving with the overpair and not for strong. I don't know, did I bet here? God, I hope I did on the flop. Oh well, it's not a big deal if not. Um, trying to build a massive stack. Yeah, that's I think what was in my mind for the most part. Trying to build a huge stack early on. So sometimes I have to add that these tournaments I sold action for for the first bullet and that sometimes um, in the beginning it influenced my play uh, a bit. I think it still sometimes does. So in this case I had like a double thing going on like uh, am, I, am I too nitty because I'm... I, uh, am I too nitty by folding here because I sold some action for this? And that was also a reason why I went with it. Trying to not do that. Cheers, man. So then it's the first time. Yeah, but I, there, there's a viewer that has a very similar name. Just, I, I believe, balls in. Uh, ball, balls in and something at the end. Forgot the end. Thank you. 
She's an awesome lady. It's the first lady cat I ever had. And she warms my heart every day. Buff average. This board. Two minutes on break. And here I'm gonna raise to uh, gonna check raise to flop. Not too large, but we also have a gutter. Oop, okay. Well, that makes winning a big pot here much harder. Not that it's not welcome. Locking this one up. Pippin, welcome back. Hang on, I'll read the comment in a second. Too full most of the time, yeah. I hey, guilty as charged. It's a bluff here. I mean, it's impossible, but it would be awesome if she had queens. Or nines, river nines. Now that would be a thing. Queens is just not going to happen. Okay, turn. Always fold this, I think. Maybe not always. <laughs> There's a sad river, and I don't believe we get into, well, we, I was gonna say we probably don't get him to lay down a queen. Nah, I'll give up. I don't think we do often enough. I do block full houses quite hard. Um, but also all the draws missed and I don't have and diamonds here. Actually, that's a good thing in this context, right? Holy shit, he had a missed draw, good. Thank you very much, Pausen. That's uh, very kind of you to say. Appreciate that. So, I think with the seven, it's okay to bet. I think we just check behind. We're still gonna get called by queens and stuff if we bet here. Come back into the tournament after the first break. Pretty low on chips. This one is close when it comes to getting it folded to us opening and then potentially calling a raise. Troopers root hands don't really lend themselves to that but with the queen jack 10 combo it's probably okay. I'll double check in a moment. After the preflop is over.
Yeah, that'll do me just fine. out for the preflop situation here we are mp hang on no, we're the other thing we're the cutoff take it down there by the way we're also short so i should probably check uh, short stacking ranges we get called here what happened i'm in the big blind no i'm still gonna bet this one although this yeah no you know maybe not not with the nut flush draw i, I do block a full house sure and they show up with way more force than he does. But like, he can't fold the missed nut flush draw now. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Right, about the preflop spot. I'll check it for short stacking uh, PLO 50 cash game break environment. 50 BB, so that would be what is a cut up. Right. Hey, that's nice. And he's short, so there's no need to like do anything fancy, like tank here or anything. Versus kings. Versus kings, we're doing all right. Lena Rich or Lena Rick, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Thank you very much for the follow, appreciate it. Cheers. And the ace queen jack 10 is indeed a race call there at 50 big lines. I wonder if it's the same at 100 BB. Yep. It is indeed, even triple suited. Shit, that's a lot of heat. Don't think we can take that. Nice hand. If I want to see aces beaten, then it is by hands like these, not like by the. 1075 rainbow or something. Hey, speaking of aces, let's not see them beaten here. Um, under 50 BB, so we go with a smaller opening size here. This deck size certainly wouldn't mind a squeeze by Mr. whatever your name is. Taipali. Fat chance we're taking this down. Holy crap, okay. 
Maybe we are. If Devon makes it the greatest bluff catcher, especially with the ace of spades there, that's not all that awesome. evaluate then yeah, if it is I think the call you have it you have it fair enough I think the last turn was the day just started yep so we need to ditch a cash game table which one has the blinds coming around the fastest incidentally this one yeah that's alright there's three sleeping dudes here this one then Okay, last term of today is the 27 progressive KO here. Which means we are in the 22 big bounty hunter here, but fire one more bullet. We got knocked out. Uh, we are in the summer series 33 PLO on the second bullet. And now the 27 KO. Is this one a turbo here? Maybe take it down pre. That's nice. So for now, on three cash game tables. Not a turbo confirmed to star spawn. Nice. Also cool, blind versus blind three bet. We flopped that trip fives. down the road depending on what rolls off to be done with the aces on table three
think I find a better spot than one where he's obviously saying he has it for a given value of it. I would need to look this one up, if this is a defend. Really, <laughs> at some point, at some point, we'll have additional emotes, and then they're forced. You bet your ass, there will be a lily emote. A lily emote? I know, right? Sleeping all contentedly. Leaving me, thankfully enough, a little room on the mouse pad at least. Thank you for the good luck of us, and maybe see you later. Move to a new table in the 22 Big Bounty. Love to pair, heads up. Here, the double cutter now as well. Alright, I think we found our spot for the check race all in, possibly back to flush rod, a uh, pretty sweet wrap. Check race denied. I ended up falling on the uh, with the ace ace's hand there. He bit quite large on the river. Really? Complete breaking this one, huh? Might be a spot for a bluff, though. Cool. Top spots and the leaderboard are currently not playing. We're getting a little bit closer. I'll show the leaderboard. Right here, we're currently in fourth position. The fifth is also not playing right now, so we're further distancing ourselves, socially responsible, from him. And are catching up to, slowly catching up to second place here.
like moved yet again. I'm party. Let's see what the new table is like. And there's a guy with a shortish stack, so if we double up here, we could cover him, go for his bounty. That'd be sweet. But for now, that's in the future. Welcome back. Hi, perfect timing. I think you just saw. All right, fourth place right now. Holy crap, this guy's raising. He just lost. We took it down here with race. I think we need to call. This is just a unique opportunity. Plop or something good. Come on. No regrets, though. We heads up for the $11 bounty. Shit, even a single pair, we could go with it. We got nothing. Nothing. Story where we're heads up there and closing the action. Where was this board last time? That would have been enough. Even though we had four diamonds. But we don't really deal and would have, should have, could have. Around here. See, great minds think alike, batch. We are gonna limp it up here. Could ice? We could ice a race. You know what? We're gonna ice a race here. Uh, never mind. I am still gonna call though. Although, mm, so the thing is, he should be shoving now if he wants to play this hand. The only saving grace in this spot is that most people don't. They just call, which is. Not a great thing to do, to put it mild. He does go for the shove, holy shit. I think with the uh, double bounty here, or I don't know if it's the double or the triple bounty, um, that probably is okay. Certainly is if you want to be results oriented about it. Down here we took one down with uh, bad queens that we did, uh, badish queens that we opened late position. Been checked through and we ended up taking it down. Shazam! Hey, look at us. Back with the stack. More than a starting stack now. Doing fine all over so. Take it down with the queens here as well. Hey, more queens this time paired with an ace. These are going to be a fold to a race.
I need more text. Damn, I'm gonna have to do this like tonight or tomorrow. Update my tag system and party. It's like 10 years old at this point. Never been touched since then. Okay. 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 Holy crap, we get hands all over the place. We get aces here as well. And there's a guy on a shorter stack who raises quite large. So we got some spots coming up. Not the worst floor. Uh, floor? Board is what I mean. Not sure where floor came from. Yeah, that's certainly nice. And that's a good flop too. Here we take it down. Good check. Holy sh... You're still good? Come on, it queens. Don't have queens. Have ace queen. I actually don't do have a queen. That'd be cool. Just not two of them. We do get a call, I believe. By an ace with the flush. Okay. Um, that is quite okay here. Gets an aggro player. Gonna go with the raise immediately. More aces here. Um, it's bottom. Yeah, we don't have really have redraws. Inside, maybe not a race. Probably more like a call. Holy shit, we get action. And she goes for the pot, I'm just gonna let it go. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go, the 27. Let's have one of those go away for a change, why don't we? Take one down pre in the summer series. Oh god. Well, we have to, we have to win against him right now for the side pot. Okay, he has sevens. So we're not gonna win against him. He makes a stray. Holy shit, man. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Would be nice to have one of those going away every once in a while, one of the big ones, huh? I've been blessed with those in the in this tournament package. Oh well. Can't pick a better spot, we're not going anywhere on the flop, there's no check folding, there's no check in there, it's just getting it in there. How do you like a other guy cold call there is a little bit beyond me. The guy that ultimately beat us for the side pot. How much you protect against here? Start off with a check, that's really small, really. Okay. Just gonna call. I'm gonna, you know, gonna play this one a little bit cautiously. Get another nice hand. Checking sounds good. It's a decent turn. It's also a decent turn. Get a call here. Pretty sad run out. Yeah. I think I'm gonna check how maybe he wants to bluff missed hearts or something. Catch a little bit of it on a turn. And he checks. We block raising ranges. He obviously doesn't have a queen. Well, I'm not gonna say obviously, but. Find a check raise here. I guess it depends on the sizing of her fold.
any diamond, any board pairing, I can't really continue with bluff. I have a little bit of shorter value, but yeah. Obviously not a happy camper with this run out. Guess we get bluffed a little bit at some frequency, but even bluffs, so, uh, even some some of the bluffs beat us there. So. Four more here to Jack would have killed us there. What is it? Eight, eight, nine, five should be fine. Took that one down as well to let you show. without diamonds like I don't want to always fold the low flush here it's an interesting one it's a check race bluff to wild holy crap we might be playing for a bounty here you know what I'm gonna give it a shot Let you know how this ends, cause let's take a look at this. Okay. We do get the fold, that's amazing. He folds as well, which is a little bit sad, but the bet there, uh, the reason for betting stems from a coach, uh, sort of coaching stream, I guess I had with, you know, not sort of a coaching stream I had with Dello, where he goes like, even in this spot, you wanna give this guy a reason to get involved, bet really small and have him come along and invest chips so he can't fold on rivers. This is a double suited trash hand, which I'm still gonna call because there's a super short stack involved with the bound. Even if he ra and if he raises, he doesn't reopen the action. Might be something he wants to take a look at, but smaller and does he have? Why he only calls is uh, completely insane. Pair and a bad flush draw. It's a trouble with these hands. You're gonna get in put into a lot of uh, nasty spots here post. Like either really easy spots where you, where you fold, sometimes you flop huge, but that's really rare. And then, you know, you have these kind of situations. Be fine if you check, sir. Also got this going on. In MP, it is possibly a bit too wide, but here we have top pair, gutter, SPR less than three. He bets large. Interesting enough, this guy folds. So I'm fine folding now as well. Um, hang on. Maybe go for another small one. If you get raised, the money goes in. I guess we can just call. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm check to him though. I doubt he. Nah, he's not gonna bluff here, but it doesn't really really make a difference if I check or if I bet. So I'm not going anywhere. Ooh, nice. If we can get a heads up for the bounty, if we can get these guys to fold. If they raise, we're gonna call. That's the plan.
One down, two down. Awesome. Let's play for the bounty. There's a pair. We have the nuts. Awesome. Awesome. Not a bounty coming our way. Happy days. Not to mention even more chips. Well, slightly more. Ooh. Well, Shazam. Take a look at that hand from Sick Tom there, by the way. Why not? Hearts on the river. This is potentially the single burst card in this deck, right? Sure, a seven or or a six of uh, dubs. It's pretty much right up the same alley there. Yeah, I bet you like it. So here on the turn, he bet after we, uh, he raised after we bet small. I don't like that. I don't think there's any reason to raise in his shoes. Yeah, I fold. Uh, he bets. He bet too large. Mm, nope. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. He's blocking an eight. Okay, so he's blocking a draw. Doesn't block a pair from the board. I could chop with a huge draw with a uh, or with a, a huge made hand already. He also has. His, I mean, he has a queen of spades as well. But I don't think this one. This one adds up to a turn raise there, in his end. Seems very thin. take to be in in this one with my hand uh, cold calling I'm really not sure what happened there and why I'm in it now given the fact that I am in it um, I do want to see a turn for the sizing that's a good turn to see
limp part we also see is somewhat okay flop. Diamond checks it. Ugh, really? Pretty much the same reaction here. And we have an ace with a four kicker. We still take it on, okay? Oh, that was too bad. Maybe not even worth a shot there. I'm just checking, check folding. Oh, nice. That's also all right. Cool. Maybe that raise fold there or bet fold. At last hand, that's gonna pay some dividends here. Money goes in. Never got her on top. So not a bad board. He flops the world. Well, not the world, yeah, but he flops nice enough. And of course, turn is absolutely pure. There's little we can do about it. Oh, there's another short stick here. I didn't even see this guy. Um, that's good to know, though. future reference. And we do get a hand to potentially fight for his bounty. Checks now, which I find intriguing. Also got aces here. Which flop alright. I 
Take it down on the 6-6 six, six board Look for a small C bet here. With the backdoor flush rather hard. He does come in with the raise. Um, which most often is probably just what it says on the box. Mike in Belize, so it's eating. Uh, it's like pre packed uh, store made, like a, a waffle with a little bit of chocolate cream uh, in, uh, spread in between. Light and quite tasty. Welcome back to the channel, Mike. Still gonna call his race, obviously. And that's pretty much it. And with the call, if he raises now, things get a little less fun, but still, we're not gonna fold. <laughs> so I'm trying not to oversee, but I think this is a decent one with the eight and the on the rainbow board with the eight and the jack as blockers. Jack rolls off, giving us two pair. No, okay, you had a double gutter. Okay, okay, that's a little more reasonable, I guess. Still sad, but reasonable. King King 86 double suited. Um, what was the position there? It really depends, like in, for example, middle position versus under the gun. No, you don't block an ace, and that's pretty important, especially if you're up against the middle position raiser. Um, late position double suited kings are quite often a raise, and it's also different if it goes multi bay. And, uh, you know, if it goes raise, call, call in front of you, and you have decent enough double suited kings like these, they're, they're good enough there, they get squeezed. Because there, while you still don't block an ace, everyone else's range is capped. Like, everyone else just called, they didn't come over the uh, come over top, didn't re-raise the initial three better. Uh, or oh, sorry, the original raiser. And so then, uh, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, Then it's a good. Then it's a good move. Let me actually check this one. Let's take the best positions there, uh, i.e., or the loosest positions, i.e., button versus cutoff. Let's imagine we are in the on the button, and the player in front of us is the first one to act, the first one to open. Here we need to fold, even though we're not going to be able to battle for this bounty. So button versus cutoff. Oh shit, give me my hand back. Nah, it's like it's massive. Um, button versus cutoff, it is really close. The 8.6 technically would be a call double suited, whereas the 8.7, a little bit better connectivity there, would be a raise call indeed, a 3 bit call. Mm, he doubles up, he loses chips, okay, so that's the deal. A different scenario would be you're in the small blind and the button opens, then uh, you're fine. Re uh, three bidding that and three bit calling. A lot of kings from the versus button open and the small blind get raised called. They're, they're nice. They're, they're super amazing, but they're, it's a nice little snack.
Oh, see, I didn't even see it was a splash, but yeah, exactly what Badge said there. I'm telling you, man, Badge, your name that uh, we're supposed to pronounce you, uh, re your name, uh, reading it backwards is confusing as heck to a lot of people, I'm sure. They're like, hey, wait, who's Badge? But, you know, if it's benign, I'm not against a little more confusion in the world. Gonna check here, potentially bet uh, turns. Certainly uh, bet this one. With rather excellent blockers. If any of these guys uh, three bet, I'm gonna come over the top. That's a good flop. Hellkit, thank you very much for the follow. Cheers. That is a good flop. Superb turn. Getting some chips back and a twenty two. Knocks one guy out for a bounty. It's unfortunate. Oh, we get aces. Let's get some action. Okay, how about you three bet then? You maybe? No, but it's still gonna be a squeeze. Like, this is gonna be a spot where if this guy calls, he should basically shove. To reopen the action for us. But you know what? I'm fine flopping like this as well. That was all right by me. Holy shit, nice. Well, here we go, guys. Sure, yeah, sure. Um, if you have any questions, I like to say this at this point, always. If you have any questions about, are PLO tournaments profitable? There you have it. Check it out. So, uh, we squeeze, and he calls the eight, six, uh, six, eight, three, four double suited. Sure. Okay. Mm, oh, the humanity.
holy shit, what the hell is going on, man? It would really be nice to win one of those at some point. Turn. Not folding though, we have a color a bit flush draw. Alright. No joy, no help. <laughs> the Thalos stream ish? Deep ish? I what have we we got in the 33 tournament we got like s now I don't want to hang on I, I can actually look it up uh, we're gonna limp these that's fine every once in a while um, let me see Yeah, we had a deep run. We uh, placed 26th in a 22 freeze out. Was that that day? When was the fellow? No, that wasn't that day. Ah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. I have it as a screenshot. I don't have it in my Excel file since it wasn't uh, part of the staking. Uh, since it was on the second bullet. Let me check. I made like 26th or 16th in one. I took 12th uh, for 120 in a... Was that a 33? I, I don't know which one that was, to be honest. What, what the buy-in was in that tournament. But yeah, I, I think that yeah, that qualifies as a deep run, I would, uh, I would say. Final two tables. There is a break. 4 6 rip. Yeah, shit, man. I think I'll take a short break. sure we didn't bet here at all really I'm not sure if I want to bet now well oh there's some certainty so you certainly won't bet that then right I'll be back in a, a few moments
Right on, and we are back. And this is too light and open for the very for the simple reason that I have a big bounty and everybody's going to be hunting me pretty hard. So, in hindsight, I prefer not to open here. Hang on, the tables are going to jump around most likely. Amarillo, yeah, um, so call a little bit wider, but within reason. First of all, welcome back. Um, call a little bit wider within reason. I think the uh, limping your entire range strategy is a pretty good one. Obviously, you're going to have a lot of, uh, you know, limp races. Like any any uh, pretty decent hands, especially at 100 big blinds, if you're not deep yet. Then, you know, all your double suited broadways, you know, all the, all the good ones, well, pretty much all of them. Um, you can raise, you can uh, limp race. Yeah, I feel that strategy works out quite nicely uh, for me. Every week I have way more in Splash to Cut and Legends. Uh, matter of fact, right now, I paid for the le and leaderboard. I'm in fourth place, showing me that I paid 92 euros in rake. And I collected 30, almost 32 from Splash to Pot, and there was no big Splash anywhere. So yeah, everybody is going nuts. And I, I do take notes on that. I have uh, like abbreviation system where I go like, I have STPHC, which is Splash the Pot Happy Collar. I have uh, STPHR, which is Splash the Pot Happy Razor. And STPM, which is Splash the Pot Maniac, people that just don't give an F. Um, yeah, a call wider in position, still be careful out of position. Um, In like the 80 and the 8 BB splashes, I think you wanna uh, play for those as much as you can. Again, within reason, don't like out crazy, crazy. Yeah, and you can. I, I think you can also do like in the medium sized uh, three, four, five BB splashes. Are there five BB splashes? Doesn't matter. Um, you can also complete in the small blind a little bit more liberally than you otherwise should because the, the danger of getting uh, raised from the big blind is a little bit smaller since uh, they, like most people by now, by now know that if they, like in the multi-base spot in the big blind there, that they need to be squeezing tighter since they're never gonna get, like one reason for squeezing is to get it down to heads up or the three base uh, ideally heads up. And that's just not gonna happen in a splash pot. So yeah, I tend to complete wider in the small blind as well. Versus a single race. Georgie, welcome back. Ace is in the summer series. Those. Up a piece of it at least. Turn the not flush block, another great turn, obviously. And let's just see let it be. Chance we're good. Fish Kippery! <laughs> hmm. It's a good nick. Thank you very much for the follow. I take it you're a fan of Kippery's channel then. Oh, maybe not. I've heard that uh, name before. In. 
like a friend of mine uh, that's his online moniker his online nick for flight simulations wait why, why don't I check here on the flop holy shit now why don't the bet now ugh, i don't like it. actually i don't like it i don't have a five i don't have a six to check and check call i can still uh, make a hand with the cutter and i can still uh, bluff with the tens the excellent future blockers so bad flop and but as played i should be checking turn Holy crap, late. Oh no, never mind. I read that wrong. Late Dragon in the Summer Series ends in 22 minutes right now. 143 places get paid. We're not that far away from that. Holy shit. Not sure how the money went in here, but this is some call, man. Wow. <laughs> when he flopped, he, his flop, he flopped beautiful. But what this guy was doing, no clue. Sure. Hope it's been somewhat helpful. It looks as if uh, possibly the leader in the leaderboard started playing again. But this guy hasn't, and oh, the second one is played, uh, starting to play as well. Alright, but the third one is still holding fast, so maybe we can overtake him at some point. Flop a pair and a... Oh, we got a hand in the 22 big. The Jack-Jack takes it down. Um, against this guy? Good question. Maybe not. Oh, mm -hmm. Nah, never mind. It's fine. Calling once. Certainly not gonna bluff this guy. Yeah, here we're gonna get it in. What a tea bet. So a pair of flush roll, yeah, oof, maybe. Sure. Alright, good luck to us in the uh, 22. Let's hope. I, you know, actually, I kinda hope this guy calls and we just triple up. That feels like a good plan to me. Absolutely no fault equity here. Good flop. Fuck off. Dude, we had a this is this feels like yesterday all over again with the runouts in the tournaments. Holy shit man. We're up against some funky hands and that we nicely kill pre-flop and they just Holy shit man, I mean you saw. Wow. I'm running out of things I can do differently there. I'm really happy with how I played the 22. There's a spot in the summer series earlier for the first buy-in where I can't say I'm entirely ecstatic with how I played it, but that's the only, that's the only one that I noticed. I'm sure there are more. I'm not claiming, you know, perfect play. I am claiming to be sad about this shitty run out. It is what it is, I guess. Mm, all right. And we had a lot of hands in the summer series recently we needed to fold. I remember some parts where we needed to give up as well. Um, this could be a three bit squeeze. It could be a squeeze. Actually, probably it is actually. If it goes, uh, bet call. Still gonna go with it. We are doing quite nice against like a high cut, very heavy range. One flush draws live. That's a shitty flop. A five? One time? No. 
Oh, we're not out, but yeah, it'll... it's 15 BB. Actually, no, never mind. Never mind. I mean, it's not horrible. Maybe it's not the spot to get the money in. see the percentages before the flop? No, we don't. So before the flop, we're doing okay. That was like a 60-40. Mm -hmm. Get it in here in the second bullet. Don't give me a walk. Come on. Yeah, so in hindsight about uh, the spot where we just lost most of our stack. I don't think it's a total punt, but I also think... No, it certainly isn't, but I also think it's unnecessary. A great hand, but we have five PB. Didn't get it in with two days versus aces. Holy shit! Oh, 50 50 on this one. All right, a glimmer of hope there. I swear, man, the, the kitten, the kittens, they, they, there's some sort of school for them where they learn like all the, all the cutest gestures, put their paw over there, over their eyes when they sleep. It is, it, I still squeeze here a lot, especially from the small blind. Just decided not to this time around. In the big blind, sure, I just call. This is another one that is perfectly fine to get it in with. NBB. He can't. He cannot knock us out. <sighs> Where do people find these hands against us? All right. Yeah. Not waiting for the big blind. We have a pair. We have suit. We have connectivity. See where this goes. He raises, which is absolutely sad. Um, all right.
Good luck, guys. Is it Ken? Love the open energy. Is the flush draw, and we're dead on this turn. Okay. That's it for tournaments today. Uh, some some real spots, man. For real. Can't move just too much with those small stacks. Mm. Let's see. You might be right. Especially in this spot, you might very well be right. Not saying you ain't. Let's see if I can find something in the matrix here. Was it Ace Nine Eight Six? That was good. So for some voodoo reason, so that that's an interesting matrix right there. Um, could probably show it. Hang on. Um, so the 8-7 uh, would be fine, the 8-6 would be fine. The solver does not play the 8-6. I could not for the life of you uh, try to explain why. Personally, I would ignore it. So it would still be a cold 4-bet. Although it's not the exact same spot, so it's sort of solver-proved. Solver um, but I hear you, you're certainly right that a 10-BB stack is still very playable in a tournament. Or at least, you know. Gives you some chance to stay in it. With that, I definitely agree. How's it going on your end? How's the eye poker treating you? And no worries, you, you're not coming across this route. I appreciate the input. Always do. particular spot which is of course entirely results oriented thinking but if it changed anything what was the flop like i i don't re i actually don't remember the flop i s seem to remember we wouldn't have gotten in on the flop anyway but that's entirely results oriented and doesn't take anything away from your from your point there So we're slowly catching up to the third place in the leaderboard race, which is neat. Twenty BB stack. Yeah, the more I, you know, reading it like that, the twenty BB stack and reading the hand, I starting to agree with you more and more. This is nowhere near the board I was looking for. Nachos, welcome back. I am third. No, sorry, fourth. With $93, pay, uh, 90, yeah, $93 paid in rake. First place has 160, second has 143, third has 133. First and second are currently playing. But we are catching up to 
third and distancing ourselves further from fifth place, which has $80 uh, in back paid and is not playing at the moment. Cheers, man. Thanks for saying that. And it's a temporary thing. I just want to, uh, like, improve my game right now at a in an environment where it's no, where it poses no danger to my bankroll, and where I actually currently have an edge over the field. It's not like, you know, I need to start uh, completely fresh. But I, over the years, certainly, um, not only developed some leaks, but also didn't fix others. So I feel it's a good time to move down for a few weeks and you know regroup and study. So cheers. But I'm still very, I just want to mention, I'm still very well rolled for uh, Pilo 20. That wasn't the reason I moved down. I was, just wasn't happy with the results. Take one down here. Betting here could also check. Down here. We block out the mistrawals. Honestly, I'm probably going to check it down. We have a bit of short on value. I expect to lose it against kings uh, pretty much always, which is probably a reason not to check. Yeah. Just think he has a king so often. Nachos. Yeah, Marillo uh, has got you covered there. With the reasons why I, why I moved down for a while. Strangely enough, I do feel that I play much better in the tournaments than I am. Or that I have been playing much better in the tournaments than I have at Pilo 20. Um. Gamble, but I think this is like sort of solver approved actually, which is of course not the benchmark for uh, the micros in particular. Nice. Let me check this one out. It's not the exact spot I have in the matrix for this, but uh, close. And that's fine. I mean, obviously that's a little bit of a short roll, but that's uh, probably not horrible, especially in Pilo 10. Wait, but 500, that's, yeah, that's 50 binds. 
So, yeah, that's uh, four Pilo 10. That's not terrible, I'd say. Do we just call? I think a position we just call. Try to uh, see what he does in the turn. This is the, pretty much the saddest turn in the, in the deck. Holy shit. Okay, the river helps. Very nice. Right, I have 1k to play. Yeah, yeah. I think for Pilo 10 this is sort of alright, since the game is pretty soft. To put it mildly. That poker is killing you. Oh, I'm not happy to hear that, man. Change your minds at Pilo 50. Ugh. Shit, man. Yeah, I mean, cool. good good for the good rake back, but that is uh, not a happy... I, I hope it turns around uh, soon as well, man. That is not a happy place to be in. The openness to tournaments. Um, I've, it's, I've had very similar advice from Thalo, so... Um, very much noted, real deal for real. Cheers. Two pair here. Uh, Alright, there's some, some stuff that missed. <laughs> Come on! Re wait, what? Did we have the same hand? Oh no, you had to check nine. That's a blocker or two. Things going on. This and this. Take it down. Um, chicken sounds good. guy wants to come along. He does indeed. Cool. Jitcock. Thank you very much for the follow. Cheers. Okay, now for pod. Now I don't want to raise. Yeah. I guess we lost the minimum because he certainly ain't folding. He still has uh, all the uh, queen sevens. It's not just queens he's showing up with there. Sheesh. Okay, so it has been confirmed, and now, even though I don't have starting time yet, I can now, I believe, talk about it. 
on Thursday in two days I will be streaming on the official run once channel I will be joined by Thalo again so it will be one of those uh, streams where he can wait ah, that's fine actually Oof. it will be very much like the last stream where he provided you know uh, feedback on the hands obviously only after the hands were uh, have been played after they were over he took care of uh, we were careful in that regard in the last stream as well and it will happen on the official run once channel for this stream only Thalo will be staking me to play PLO 50 to make it more exciting and obviously there's a little bit of an advertisement element there advertising his newly um, founded staking uh, discord server for a run it at once players so I'm excited about that because I had a ball last time. Thela was in the stream for like five hours, and I'm not saying it's going to take this one. He's going to spend this much time this time around as well. But he had a good time as well, from what I heard, and it was hugely valuable to me. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. I don't know the starting time yet, but it has been confirmed that it's going to happen. Here, this one I'll turn it into a bluff. Which works often enough. it would be holy shit nice run out that will be one and a half hours from now so it's going to happen at eight o'clock in the evening on thursday one and a half hours from now eight o'clock german time right on That is very nice of you, sir. Oof. Uh, that flop was brutal. I'm happy enough getting in on most here. This SBR. Uh. <laughs> Not on this one. Not many boards I can just push it in. Sadly, this one didn't work for me. Check it. Okay. 
Nice, we're good here. Really crappy kings, but a lot of money in the middle. <laughs> Get, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, you made me laugh and made me. We wake up Lily. That's all your fault, fault batch. Okay, apparently she can deal. Um, yeah, let him stick me for pedo 500 like a real man. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't see it happening. No, no, no. Pilo 50. This king of God. Because you'd like no pressure, huh, right? Playing with somebody else's money at Pilo 500? Yeah, sure. Well, Pilo 200 would have to be unreal. Sure. No pressure. Hmm. Sad river. It's probably not even a bet on the turn. There's just so many draws still, which we don't block. I mean, there's it's, maybe it's worth fighting for the money in the middle, on the other hand. Good question. The aces took it on across the board. The aces' hands are short. Oh, nice. That's a nice bonus. Pablo Costa, I totally disagree, man. I, I get what you mean, but find a uh, find a better staking offer, man. It's like you won't. I know what you mean. Yeah, there, there's something to what you're saying. On the other hand, after one month of being profitable, you get a 75-25 profit split, which is insane. Got two back to flush draws. Let's call. And you also get to keep, if you go for it, 100% for leaderboard. So, you know, I, I have to disagree that it's a bad uh, deal. This is a, It is an amazing deal. I'm not talking it up. I think it's legitimately amazing. But yeah, sure, you're, uh, what you're saying there, uh, there, there's something to that, yeah. Goes big and you don't have to flush draw on top. All right, man, all right. We are certainly not taking this one down at showdown. Feels like a decent spot to turn our hand to a bluff. I shouldn't say this so loud. Maybe Tyler hears. Into a value, but I mean Tyler, perfect. Phew. Barely escaped that one. So yeah, uh, you're right that, uh, oh, you, you have good points, but that doesn't make it a bad deal, far from it. And don't forget, you know, he's doing that. Uh, he said on the stream repeatedly that he's not expecting to make a profit there, and I do believe him when he says that, I, I really do. But he wants to get more players on Runner Ones and wants to give back to Phil and Runner Ones who have helped him a lot in the past years. And he says Runner Ones have helped him a lot in the past years. He's obviously talking about Runner Ones training. Yeah, and I 100% believe uh, him that when he says that's his motivation. So I applaud him for it, man. I think it's good.
Uh, you know what? Versus to cut. I'm actually not sure versus to cut off here. Versus the button. This is fine. It's three bit fold. Versus to cut off. That's a good question. I think we have to call. It's, that's the problem with this uh, seabed on the turn. You know, kind of pot, uh, kind of pot committed here. Oh, with versus Jax. Well, versus Jax, we had a few outs. Well, we had a few outs against everything. Except then not flush draw on Jax, I guess. Mm, yeah, the turn, my turn bet did me in there. Still figured with the nine, I can somewhat make that blocker work, but I don't really have to. Let's see about the three better on in the first place is King Check Nine. No, that's fine versus the No it's not versus the cutoff would need to be the Jack 10. So yeah, but that I know is too late. That it was up against the cutoff and not the button. Fulton here, not with excellent future blockers. Ah, uh, interesting river. So all the draws missed. Um, Bluff at this point. Not blocking straights. We're also not blocking full houses, but. Okay, so. Interesting. Kind of interesting call. He was blocking a full house. Obviously, did have a straight in the end. Zulan 4. How's it going, my friends? Guten Abend. just heard there might be more cool stuff being announced during that stream which I'm not gonna talk about today yeah Sulan 4 how's it going man wie geht's wie steht's mein Freund Sulan 4 a real life friend of mine Cigarette. Sorry about that lady. Calling some just folding there, I guess.
All right, I think to avoid mistakes on river, I'm just gonna go all in. Whitney has the A6, has the A4. And then the straight, unfortunately, is, uh, the flush, unfortunately, is not gonna be good. Mm. She also has the Ace King against which we're not doing so great. This is a sad spot, man, actually. Um, I'll take a screenshot of that one of the replayer. Take a look at it later in uh, Visions. Can I find a fold here on the turn? The calling is awkward too, I guess. Hmm. I think in roughly half an hour or so, I'll take a dinner break. I'll certainly be grinding um, for a long time tonight, and I think I'll be back with a stream later as well. Yep, sounds good to me. How are we doing on the leaderboard? We are closing in on the third place. Nice enough flop here. Calling twice. Six, all of these are in the mix. Turned queens, rather unlikely. <sighs> Shitty spot. I guess another one for a screenshot and Checking it out in visions later.
<coughs> Excuse me. I also saw the fault from the button. I think the same is true for the cutoff here. Mm, let me see. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, from the King 7, the King 7 and the King 6, those would be, you know, sometimes call, sometimes fault. Would be a mixed strategy. So starting to utilize these uh, small C bidding sizes has the advantage that I get to see bit a whole lot more than normal. Certainly improve when it comes to short on value and also have blocker, but this is, feels like a good spot to check the eight. Uh, renders us to having jacks with a king kicker. It's not really anything that missed so few bets here. This one I guess I need to fold. We have the queen, we have a spade, we have the backdoor flush draw, we have the eight. I think that's probably okay to bet as well. We get the race. I think we do want to see a turn for sure. This one could freeze the action somewhat. Could also make us the best hand against days nine. Still ahead of all the draws. Probably calling river. Neat. Wait, really?
I guess we have the same hand. Unless he's bluffing, yeah. It's hard to imagine what he's bluffing with, since we have all the fives and we have a six as well. Just gonna be a fold here in the small light. Yeah, you know what? I'm getting hungry. Maybe it's time to call out a session soon, and I'll be back with the session a little while later. Is the sidebar work again on Twitch? Yeah, at least that. Oh, Shane Bart is online. Okay, so more uh, PR action happening on Twitch, and we can raid our Shane Bart player we've been clashing with quite frequently recently in the party poker tournaments. Alright, that sounds like a plan. He does check, we turn an open ender. This with the flush draw. Oh, we are deep. We deep three ways. Okay, never mind. I guess we'll just check. Certainly call this sizing, is, except if this guy raises. Did check, I could go for it here with the nine. Downside is I do have to miss not flush draw. Probably won't, certainly won't now. Teaching well. That's. <laughs> Welcome back. That's not what's happening today. Today I'm, I'm down like three, four binds in the cash game. So um, I think for the most part, due to mistakes I make, I made. Whereas in the tournaments, I finish all the tournaments and there it was the dealer being a, a bee bird. Good to see you, Chiching. You chat at you if you want to see one of the nicest ladies on Twitch playing with two cards in a tournament setting. Check out Chiching's channel. But you've probably heard it by now, uh, Chiching. I think I'm gonna go on uh, on me dinner break. Yeah, right. Today she's working the camera as if she knew where it was. The little, little stretches here. So yeah, let's let the blinds come around on most tables and then we'll go in for the last orbit. And then head over to our Schoenbart's channel and I will be back probably like in two and a half hours for a late night stream. Have some dinner, walk the dog, play a little bit in between and then come back for to continue the grind. We are catching up to fourth place. Uh, we, I don't know what we started the day with in terms of how many points we had on the leaderboard. But we are getting closer to third. Getting a little bit closer to second as well, I believe. But first place is uh, playing again, so it's unlikely we're going to catch him this week. Yeah, but not the end for the day. Yeah, since the um, tournaments didn't go my way, to put it mildly, I might as well take it in a break. So you to raise you want to raise I think I'm going to lead donk this since I block everything. Black block a lot of the things that can bet here, including some of the draws with the nine. Oh nice teaching. The ace. The ace is not a welcome sight, to put it mildly. And the 
<laughs> really? It is never easy in piano. Tja. Bet you like this run out. It's one where we get bluffed at some frequency as well by tens or seeing that we check turn and river um, also by, uh, you know, two Broadway pairs or whatever. But that's just what it is. That's just how it is, I mean. So we have a pretty good hand on the three pairing. Crushing license. I missed that one. That's very true. Let's see if you can maybe crush someone in this hand. But you know, not done much, and it certainly isn't over yet for the day. Quite the opposite. Vanessa, why? It's just what we're going to be shouting if she has to not flush here. It's going to be like, Vanessa, why? But I'm not folding here. You might have just aces with the not flush blocker if she keeps betting. Not going to be happy if she bets three streets. But yeah. Check race on the river, life sucks, but we're also not going to be folding. I do indeed. Thank you for noticing. Come here quite often. This will have been the last angry for once. <laughs> Been the last hand on that table. Oh. Yeah, so I for the session be down actually less than three buy-ins, like two and a half. That's fine. Field is pretty much deserved. It won't be cash games, but will, it will be a lot of Pilo tournaments over on our Schoenbart's channel. And he's beasting those. Uh, you're bound. He's also talking about why he's doing things that he's doing. So you're bound to learn something on this on this channel. Don't forget, on Thursday, I will be on the Run at Once channel, joined by Thalo respected high stakes player who is also starting a staking discord for run at once players he is trying to help out run at once by increasing traffic by offering the staking and he'll join me uh, for you know like a live commentary sort of yeah of course he's not going to comment on the hand that i while i'm playing them but you know as soon as the hand is over we can look into this interesting stuff we did it a few days ago it was hugely valuable to me as this flop might turn out to be and we're going to be starting on Thursday in one hour from now at 8 o'clock German time. There will also be uh, one or two other announcements. And of course, you know, we're going to be talking about the staking opportunity. Go with a small block of bed, which isn't really that much of a thing in four ways. But I just feel like it here for the last hand of the day. There's also famous last words, just like it's double suited. That's the last hand of today. I'll gamble. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna shut down. If I didn't have to not flush draw, I might bet again. But that's fine. 
Okay, so I'll be back later tonight. And as I said, I'll be on the Runner Ones channel, Drive by Thalo, on Thursday. So that's something to look forward to. At least for me. And I'll go have me some dinner and see you later tonight. Thanks for watching, for keeping me company. And yeah, let's head on over to Schoenbart's channel. Maybe I'll see you later tonight. Until then, have a good one.